Hello YouTubers, Gizzy Greenfingers here. And what we are doing today is we're gonna repot my spruce that I've done as a formal upright bonsai. I'll just pan up for you. Oh she a beauty. Yeah, I rescued her from someone's garden. Yeah, it was a rescue. It would have died. It wasn't getting any light. But it's getting all the light it wants now. So what sort of pot am I going to put her in? One that's too small, that's for a start. So that is the pot. It's quite small. Now when I pluck the spruce from the, the ground, I've got a big pot. And I've no idea what the root system is going to look like on this bad boy. But... I should put a bit of light on the situation and we'll have a look. We'll see what this looks like. Because I ain't got a clue. I'm a bit unorthodox, so I use a rusty saw blade to cut my um, bonsai. What you use? That's not too bad there. Alright, I'm going to have to make a. I'm going to have to move a. I have to move a few things so I don't damage anything in the process. Right, so I got that. What else am I going to want? Then probably. Right, let's take that. Let's just take that away from there. So what we got? So that's what we got. And you know what that is? A ground elder, ground cover, and I don't want that in my garden. So I don't want to contaminate anything. There's a lot of that. So here we have that. I think that is my tap root there. I believe so. Out. A lot of these roots are really well. Oh, for fuck's sake. There goes my fucking Christmas. Oh, for fuck. Crying out loud. Oh, that's, that's more mess. It's just mess. This can be sorted. Um, right, I need to get like a little comey thing. Bear with me. Hey, welcome back. I found my comey thing. And little spiky thing helps as well. So, I'm going to move here because I can't see what the F I'm doing. You know? So what you want to do is you want to just gently, gently do that, you know, all the way around. And basically, you want to keep doing that until you've made a mess all over your floor, like I have. Might it be okay? You got this pan and brush. <clears throat> I, it looks like I'm being rough. That's because I fucking am. <laughs> it's going everywhere. It's going everywhere. Yeah. It's going everywhere. But that's what you've got to do. You've got to brush like it's going out of fashion you have. Aye. Oh, no. If it's not gone in my drink. Has it gone in my drink? Does it look like it's gone in there? I'm going to drink it anyway. Mm. Mm. And when I say for that flavour, you can have a look at how far I've got so far. Yes. It's hard work. I've got myself a sweat on. I shall, I shall carry on. 
And when you're rotating it to get this um, soil off, what you want to do is make sure you don't actually damage the wiring of the tree that you've spent countless hours on looking after, you know? I, I, I know. We'll be doing that all right. We will. So, when you've had a good... Oh, oh tangled. Oh. Right. So, let's have a look at this beauty. So, it's still quite... I don't think that part I've got is going to be big and small. I don't think it's big enough. Uh -huh. I can't go any deeper than what that is. Uh, I think, Gizzy, I think, what can you do? Can you do? What can you do, Gizzy? Yeah, that ain't going in there, is it? That just is not going in there from that perspective there. Will that come off now? Can I take that off and that'll be alright? I'm not so sure. Sometimes it is just good just to get your fingers in, you know. That's what, that's what gardeners like to do. They just like to get their fingers in. Get that right in there. Right. Well, I think that some branch there needs to come off. There. He can come out. And the trick is, you want to leave enough fibrous crap on so it doesn't kill the tree. At the same time, you want it to fit in your little tiny pot. That you, that's all you got. That I can't go any deep in whatever that weapon is. see this you're not meant to see this yet I'm just looking at it from my perspective okay you can see that now so I'm sort of looking at what, I'm, what I can do and I'm thinking mm, I might just about get away with that if I wire it in oh yeah I'd be watering it like 17 times a day but it look good so it needs to look. Right. Right, so that. Even these bigger ones, some of these bigger ones, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave in <coughs> because I want them to anchor it down when I wire it in. Somehow, it might be like a leany, a leany tree. Oh yeah, that looks fucking sexy. Leany tree. I'm going to find some wire and try and wire this in. I'm not going to record it because I'm getting nasty.
Hey YouTubers, welcome back. So I have wired it in and that is nine minutes out of my life that I have just wasted and lost. Um, I was being a bit of a prick about it. Bit of a mind, mind blank, didn't know how to do it. Quite right to do it. Um, <clears throat> maybe it's a shipyard having an effect, but we're there, we're in. That is how I want it. Now what I'm doing here is I'm putting a big ass tree in a small pot. I'm just testing the limits. Testing the limits. So now what we want to do is we want to just gently I did a video yesterday and it's, it's the same potting mix, so I'm making use of a good substrate that I, that I made. Let me just pat that in. It doesn't matter if you make a mess because you've already made a fucking mess everywhere. And we've got a root coming up there and I don't want that up there. So I'll just nip him off like so. And you want to just gently mould it into the pot, like so. You want to my level. I can't get you any closer because I've got like loads of bottles on the floor. I don't know where they come from. Here we have it. And just... Putting your, your compost mixed in, like so. Now this is a big ass tree, for the size pot, anyway. So make sure you've got enough of the soil in. You don't want any roots exposed, obviously. Well, I kill it. Right, well. <laughs> 